My name is Christina Marie Michaels. Formal name change was petitioned on Friday, and I will get my decree on the 9th, 9th of July, and then I go to Social Security, and so my formal name is Christina Marie Michaels. Marie is my mother's middle name and my grandmother's first name. Michaels is my last name. I started dancing when I was 11. Actually, before that, I went into creative movement when I was like eight um, and had a blast. And then started really getting into it by the age of 12. And I was doing it full time at 12. And then um, went to some summer schools, Valley West up in Snowmass. Went to some intensives, did my chiquetti training. It's a technique that you learn as a young dancer. And went up to Seattle and got accepted into the Pacific Northwest Ballet School um, when I was 17. So went in there, um, didn't have a job. I just went up there and I thought I was the shit. I always thought I was the schnizzle. I really thought I like, I got a resume, I could dance, and I was stuck in the intermediate level. So I danced there for a year, launched myself up to the advanced level. At that point, we started doing like, I was doing shows, um, show after show after show, um, standing in the back, mobile prop for a while. Um, and then <clears throat> danced with them for five years. And I got in their company as an apprentice um, by the third year I was there. One of those years I got accepted to School of American Ballet at Juilliard um, on scholarship with stipend, so I actually got spending money um, in the year of summer of 87, and I went there for six weeks. Um, then they uh, invited me back to stay the following year, um, but the, I, they thought I was too fat, so they didn't want me to stay there um, for the year. My body was trashed um, from dancing this technique, the American technique, so I... Um, started training under another man, um, male teacher, for a while, and he saved my knees. Um, and so with that technique, I actually got into the National Valley of Canada because it was a much more refined technique than the American style. And it was something I was more familiar with and moved better with. Dance with the National Valley of Canada for two years, it was really hard. I went from a company of 45 dancers to a company of 75 dancers. And so it was one thing to be a number and a small dancers with like 20 some men, but um, be at National Valley of Canada, you're 30 boys, you were all divided up by height. So I got stuck with, like, I was, um, what is it called, typecast for two years. Um, the director wanted a lot of um, sexual favors, and I chose not to do that. So I left that company. I ended up moving back to, I moved to Richmond, Virginia, and got into the Richmond Ballet. <clears throat> Danced there for three years. I had my third surgery there. Um, first surgery was a neuroma out of my left foot then a bone spur out of my left ankle, and then a neuroma out of my right foot. Um, and then I <clears throat> danced there, and then I was just tired. My body was beaten really up. And so I stopped <clears throat> dancing, and I went into something that I loved doing, which was massage, because it felt so good, and I knew I could do good for people. So I actually did massage for um, 15 years, um, teaching on the side at dance schools. And then after about 10 years, I started to get burned out. So I went into... Uh, undergrad work for my bachelor's and associate's degree um, at a community college. And then I went into Active Marshall College. I came back out home to Colorado where I grew up. Um, and that's where I ran into LDT. So Longmont Dance Theater, Centennial State Valley, um, is a non-profit youth um, dance organization. Okay, so I know at eight I was a woman. Okay, um, I have a picture. I know under the age of eight. But, um... I have a, a firm picture of me wearing this beautiful sweater my mother got, let me get, and it was the most coolest girl sweater I'd ever gotten, and I knew my mom was super protective of me. She even tried to get me, she got me a job at like this lesbian restaurant in Manitou, um, which was really cool until the gay man just started bullying me, so I just quit, or I got fired, um, because I said something that was inappropriate, but it was inappropriate for a 12-year-old to be bullied too. So I hid. Um, I, whenever I had an, um, enough money, I'd live on my own and I'd always have like stashes of my girl clothes in boxes hidden. Um, and then I met my wife at the time and she sort of knew, but she didn't want to accept it. So I just thought, you know, my dance career just allowed me to, um, hide it really well. It's, it's as patriarchal as it is. It is the epitome of a patriarchal art form. It is the epitome of a patriarchal art form. Because every other art form, every freaking other art form, it 
allows some sort of expressionism in any way, even music, classical music still allows some sort of expansiveness of the way the flute is played or the oboe is allowed to be, but it's the epitome of the binary. I got injured so much during my career that I was in physical therapy, like a lot. <laughs> Knee pain, ankles, whatever, low back. Um, so I learned all these muscles. And so when I went and got massage therapy, I was like, oh, that's why I was hurt. Oh, this is why that was hurt. That's why this is hurt. That's why this hurt. And it allowed me instantly to almost see inside the patient now as a massage therapist. So it came very like a second glove to me um, as a practitioner, um, which I'd never done. I know I'm, I'm an enigma in the teaching industry. Um, I really don't know what I want to, I, I can't change it because it's patriarchal epitome of Bart. Like you have to be a boy and you have to be a girl. I think what I like the most is um, if I could say there was anything is when I teach the younger children and they see me and I go, my pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm Chrissy or Christina. They have to do a double take and almost every time they do a double take, they're more warmer and welcoming to me. Um, and I've seen a lot of young non-binary children come in questioning their gender. And what I love is that I can be there as um, the role model that I want.